Always a big home court advantage here in the Mile High City. And the Nuggets will look to use it as they get ready to take the court. Hey everybody, we're coming to you live on 2K Sports, bringing you the NBA. Hi everyone, this is Brian Anderson at the table along with Grant Hill and Brent Berry. Allie LaForce joins us from the sidelines. Now that we're into November, let's see how the Eastern Conference standings are shaken out. You look at the Bulls, here in the early going, they're in 8th place. Checking out the Bulls, they've had some terrific moments this season. But where's the big leap upward that we've been waiting for? Now, you just don't want to sit in the middle for too long. You either want to be competing against the top teams or starting to strategize where you can position yourself for a high lottery pick and maybe turn around your franchise's fortune. So let's take a look at the Chicago Bulls starting lineup. DeRozan and Miller in at the forward slots. White and Levine pair up in the backcourt. And it's Vucevic in at the five spot. And for the Nuggets... On the perimeter, KCP and Porter Jr. Gordon and Jokic the combo inside. And it's Murray in at the point. The Grant was still early on in the season. But you feel like you've got a good sense of these teams yet? Absolutely no. I mean, it's too early right now to tell. Now, some teams are still kind of coming into their own. So I think we need a few more games before we get a real sense of who the contenders are this year. Now, here's Caldwell Pope. Murray deciding where to go with it. Jokic with a screen on white. Murray from outside. Here's Jokic. Oh, and he got the ball on his way up. He'll hit the line to shoot two. It's going to belong to Nikola Vucevic. Jokic doing a better job as the years have gone on, just drawing more contact and getting to the line. And that's a good thing. He's an over 80% shooter there. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. MVP. But in the end, he won something more precious, an NBA title. And that finals MVP award more meaningful, both personally and in terms of his legacy, being a winner is what matters in the end. It's both from the strike. Grant, when teams come to play the Denver Nuggets, it's not just another regular game in a normal city. Yeah, I mean, the altitude of the mile high city is an adjustment for many players, B.A. Even if some guys say it doesn't affect them, don't let them play. It takes some getting used to. Trust me, I know. Now here's Porter. Turned in an outstanding game against Dallas. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Here's the three. Oh, the shot is off. Here's White. And we're about a minute into the first. Murray against Levine. Clock at six. And Contavious Caldwell Pope picks up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. Kind of a tickle sack foul there, but you have to be aware that's how the refs are going to blow the whistle tonight. Pass to White. Now to Rosen. Pocket four. Over the quarter. Gets it to go from 18 feet away. Oh, the lost art of the mid range jumper. The Rosen dialing it in. Gordon with a screen on white. Murray passes to Jokic. Shoots over Vucevic. Vucevic with some nice D. Practically a block. Good, strong challenge. Yeah, altering the shot. Just as long as there's a miss, that kind of energy not wasted. Now here's DeRozan. Porter pulls it in. The Nuggets have gone 0 for 3 from the floor to begin this one. Pass to Murray. Back to Porter. Box the room. That's good. And the 
assist goes to Murray. And maybe a deep breath moment for them. They're now one for four. Williams is screen on Porter. Williams on the wing. Back to DeRozan. Levine with it. DeRozan deciding where to go with it. Rolls around and rims out. This touch from this range is almost always good. That won't shake his confidence. Gordon, the pass to Porter. No catch against DeRozan. On the right block. Jokic shot is good. Jokic being assertive now on the inside. He can move anybody around. Caldwell Pope against Levine. White, the pass to Levine. Williams, a screen on Caldwell Pope. Pass to Williams. Over Murray. And again, Chicago, no good. We're searching out their offensive game right now. One of five from the field to start this one. Outside, Caldwell Pope. Murray, a screen on Williams. Caldwell Pope against Williams. Caldwell Pope. Pass to Jokic. Out the bucket. Coming off the perfect replacement. Jokic has got six points. With KCP's improved scoring, defenders are taking note of him and leaving his teammates wide open. Here's DeRozan. And the shot goes in. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking and he knows it. Yeah, right now I don't see any let up. I think he's going to just keep putting his foot on that gas pedal tonight. Now here's Murray. No points so far. Three again. Pass to Gordon. Here's Jokic. And it's cleared by Vucevic. Chicago trailing here. DeRozan finds White. Back to DeRozan. Porter pulls it in. He creates a great opportunity right out. at the rim and he just can't get it to go. Even with the defense not really a factor. And the Nuggets call time here. and quick chance that they got. It was about ball movement and finding the open shooter. For Denver, they've gone just three for seven here at the start. Murray against White. Jokic the screen. Murray passes to Jokic. Back to Murray. Pass to Brown. This one for three. 
Chicago with the board. And this game, the first chance they've had to see Denver. It's really hard to know what to expect when teams play only twice a year. Makes it a bit of a mystery. Yeah, this one will be the short in the conference matchups. They're always pretty fascinating just because of timing on scouting and how often you watch teams like this affect some of the unpredictability of the East-West battle. Here's Murray. After the basket by Chicago. Jokic with a screen on white. Murray passes to Jokic. And there's the foul. It's on Kobe White. That's his first foul. Second team. against Vucevic. Five on the clock. Oh, well, Pope for the drive. And here's Jokic outside. Sends it home from three-point lead. Jokic has got his third basket of the night. That basket must be widening out right now. He's making almost every shot he's putting up this court. Caldwell Pope against Levine. The shot misses. Excellent D there from Caldwell Pope. Murray against White. The three is up. DeMar DeRosa grabs the miss. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. That's his first person ever. Second to you. Just five to shoot. And that is going to get one up. That one's good for two. Any close Caldwell Pope showing he's more than just a player that likes it on the perimeter. Chicago has gone one for three from beyond the arc. The Rosen against Gordon. Outside, Williams.
just isn't as bad as it seems. Yeah, we were hoping for much better news, and obviously not very encouraging. Well, we always think about when players go down, how terrible a blow it can be for the team. We wish him well. I hope he's on the field quickly. Now here's Caruso. One point yet. And it's Rosen missing. That's the only way to take him out of the zero right up in the jersey to force him off the spot. Murray with it. Picked up by DeRozan. From seven feet. DeMar DeRozan grabs the miss. Chicago trailing here. Pass to Caruso. DeRozan outside. Here's Mike. Caruso outside. DeRozan passes to White. Outside, Williams. Fires in the triple. Don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. 125 left in the first quarter here. Curry against White. Curry inside. His last outing, he had 18 points. Pass to Brown. Five to shoot. Green. 
Here's Levine. Nikola Jokic grabs the miss. Jokic has got four rebounds now. Jackson outside. Back to Jokic. That's the trouble. Jokic with a screen on Carter. Here's Jackson. The layup misses. Chicago shooting only 29% on this one. Not great. <laughs> That's the sauce right there. I mean, every night, Levine approaches the rim like it's a dunk contest. Ooh, a great look there. Brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Close it in on two minutes played here in the second. Now here's Jokic. Drummond defending. Jokic finds Jackson. Here's Najee. Passes to Naji. There's five on the clock. And here's Jokic. Drummond defending. Jokic shot is good. Jokic just got 11. And he was dominant in that last outing. And the same thing here tonight. He is in a terrific world right now. Seems to be nobody who's in the stadium in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot. Capitalize and continue to be a Grand players often looking to exaggerate content. You like the new idea to call text for flopping? You know, VA, it's even better than the fines they did in the past and posting it online. I mean, with the tech, now it's hurting you on the court. So if you ask me, it's long overdue. Suns. And so Jackson Jr. will bring it up for the Nuggets. They'll be playing host to New Orleans for their next one. And that's the third game out of four at home for them. Pass to Strother. Tipped. symphony out there with this ball club just the ball movement the player movement the guy's willingness to sacrifice the first shot to get the better shot and Jokic is the conductor Gordon he's checked in for the Nuggets Caldwell Pope comes in for Brown and Caruso drops him both here's Jackson no made baskets yet to Jokic. Jokic is doubled from deep. And the Nuggets back in from deep. And this defense is getting spaced out. So three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. On the wing, Caruso. He's covered by Caldwell Pope. Caruso, pass to Levine. have gotten three or four field goals in the second quarter. Pass to Jackson. There's Strawler. Back to Jackson. 
Oh, there's the screen. Down to five on the shot clock. To the left wing. From about 19. Rebound by the Bulls. They come into this one following a loss to Brooklyn. In games like that, a back breaker. To be so close to victory, but let it slip away is frustrating. You want to respond in time, but that last game was an effort that most of the time can get you a win. Ran into a tough opponent who was playing at a high level. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Brian, the last five MVP awards have gone to foreign players. Nicole Jokic told me, I think we're showing that there is a lot more talent in the world. It's not just USA. And I think that's the beauty. We are giving all the kids a chance and an opportunity to see that they can make it. Yes. I love that story. Outstanding. Thanks, Allie. For Chicago, they've gone four for six here in the second. White the pass to Levine. Jackson against White. Here's Butchmich. Gordon pulls it in. Gordon's got four rebounds in the game. Denver has gone two for two from the arc here in the second. Inside. And Paul Belt Hope gets it to go. Caldwell Pope's got five points now in the quarter. He drops yet another dime. Just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Pick by Vucevic. Levine passes to Vucevic. Misses from short range. Defense is as tough as it comes right there. He's a hard man to deny when he gets the ball to the rim. Stroller. This is the baby hook. That's two points they should have had. I'm sure he'd love to get that look again. Back to Levine. Pass to White. Throws it up high. Look at Levine throwing it down. The move. Talk about bounce. Levine has tremendous bounce. It gets off so fast to slam down those alley oops. Jackson against White. Jackson outside. Pass to Gordon. And Chicago with the board. Vucevic has got rebound number eight here already in the game. Outside White. Now Craig. Outside Levine. Beyond the arc. Oh, great. Oh, great. Oh, Levine. And he's single-handedly trying to keep them alive. Terrific scoring quarter. Will it be enough, though? Gordon with a screen on White. Aaron Jackson with the three. And Craig pulls it down. Looks like the game plan is they're willing to give him that kind of shot. It worked out for them this time. But they give it to him again. I think three points are coming. Now here's Craig. He's scoreless. Off the mark with the outside fadeaway. When it goes in, it looks to be ready. But it doesn't. Question the shot difficulty. Jackson surveying the deep.
so DeRozan will bring it up for Chicago. They trail by seven. They'll face the Jazz after this game. That'll be at home. And that kicks off a string of three home games for them. White, the pass to Williams. The three from DeRozan. Caldwell Pope pulls it in. I mean, he's trying to shoot his way out of this for the Nuggets. And he can't hit the second. Denver's got it going from distance in the second quarter. Four or five from deep. Murray against Carter. Pass to DeRozan. Williams is screen on Gordon. DeRozan passes to Vucevic. Here's Williams. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he takes two free throws. Going for the Bulls. 
A minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Thanks very much. I'm here with Mike Malone and Coach. Evaluate this team's execution offensively for me. Well, I think we're at our best when we can get out and run, but also play downhill. It's a simple game for us. When we defend, that gets us out to run. Now we can play downhill, attack, and share the ball. That's when we're at our best. Keep it simple. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it, Allie. And we'll be coming right back after this break. Ready for the third quarter. Thanks for stopping by, y'all. First up on the show tonight, a quick look ahead of some upcoming games on the docket. We were just in the green room watching this game. What was your highlight of the first half? I really like those. Oh, you talking about the game or the wings? Anyway, I like the wings we had in the back. Yeah, Can I like the hummus. The Can hummus was pretty that good. The sauce on point. Oh, yes, it was. You know, I actually was talking about the game. Uh, why has it always got to be about food with you two? Time to talk about that first half now. And guys, Nikola Jokic, this guy's won multiple MVPs. We're seeing why tonight. Anytime you're shooting over 50%, you are helping your team. As long as you're not giving up the same amount of points or more at the other end. That's the real math, and it's definitely seeming right now that he's on the right side of that equation. Glad you could join us. Brian Anderson and crew are ready to take it away for the start of the third quarter. through the first half. Plenty of basketball left in this one. Without question, Contavious Caldwell Pope just playing his skill today. Can they come up with an answer for him coming out of the half? They have to change something defensively. They're just way too easy out there, and I'm sure Coach is going to make that a priority in half time. Second half underway. Here's who Billy Donovan's got on the floor. Levine is the two with DeRozan at the three. Williams and Vukovic control the inside, and it's White in at the point. Now here's Murray. Pass to Porter. Now Jokic. Covered by Vucevic. Porter from outside. The shot is good. And they sit Jokic. Jokic has got six assists in the game. 
just look at how smooth that shot is from the range. He knows what he's doing. White against Murray. White the pass to DeRozan. Uh, now Williams. Pass to Vucevic. Now DeRozan. Up and over Porter. Oh, a beautiful finish by DeMar DeRozan. DeRozan's got 10 points. Year after year, DeRozan gives you that steady scoring presence. You can count on him to get his number. Murray passes to Jokic. Outside, Caldwell Pope. Back to Jokic. Look at Jokic going to work inside. Such a selfless guy. Caldwell Pope's focus on the floor is on the team's success. Outside White. Kicks it to DeRozan. And the Bulls tack on two more. This is such a critical part of how their offense is going to flow. Things are only working when he seems to be on the floor. Murray passes to Gordon. Jokic with it. He's covered by Levine. Murray from outside. That's cleared by Vucevic. Vucevic has got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. DeRozan outside. Back to White. Outside Levine. Back to White. Over Murray. Jokic grabs the board. Jokic has got his seventh rebound of the game of that last one. He's called well Pope. Not gonna go that time. Nice D from Levine. DeRozan against Porter. DeRozan outside. Picked by Vucevic. Williams from long range. And it's Denver with a rebound. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Kelly. The Nuggets have some flat out scores on their roster, but head coach Mike Brown said the way we play is kind of just this game. The ball moves around and everybody benefits. And Brian, it sure helps when your best player in a full Jokic is setting the tone with his incredible court vision. No doubt about that, Allie. Thanks for that. Now here's Levine. He's got 15. Gets the three to fall. Yeah, the defense expects DeRozan to try and score, but he smartly makes the extra pass. White against Murray. Pass to Jokic. And here's Porter. Jokic with it. That's good. And the assist is to Murray. Murray's got his third assist of the night. It's the Bulls with the ball. Seven-point differential. One thing about Jamal Murray, friend, you know he's not afraid of the big moments. Uh, and it felt really good just as a basketball team to be able to see Jamal Murray return to those big moment kind of plays that we got used to while the teams were in the bubble. Certainly a rising star and a guy that gets dangerous the bigger the game gets. Vucevic gets the bucket. You gotta keep that head up, and Levine knows that. He would have hit his man in stride there. Outside Murray. Caldwell Pope was screen on white. Outside Porter. Counts up a three. Oh, target from Ray. Porter's got six here in the quarter. Second guessing as Porter makes the right decision to score that. Pass to Levine. Back to White. Now here's Levine. Williams from Paul Ray. And it's Denver with a rebound. Jokic has had nine rebounds in the game. It's getting it done. And his struggles have been apparent. Unable to make an impact scoring the ball. Now here's Porter. Give him eight points now. Gordon with a screen on Vucevic. Murray from outside. It's all in by the Bulls. Vucevic just got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. He told me this was the kind of game he was going to have. I would not have expected that to be in front right now. Here's Williams. And Williams punches it home. And just a lack of fight right now on the defensive end. Right? And
at least on that slam it was. That's one way to let a team back in the game. Well, you have to play the aggressiveness offensively because that's when you make a play when you really need it. Just called well Pope. The Bulls making their last shot. Six on the shot clock. Jokic with a screen on Levine. Just called well Pope. Williams grabs the board. And so DeRozan will bring it up for Chicago. They trail by six. plan has been simple. Look to shoot it often from outside the arm. And the results have been outstanding. And the other thing about their game tonight that they've done a terrific job of is just moving the basketball around. That's how you rack up assists. And the first one at the line is good. Brown's checked in for Porter Jr. And a change for the Bulls. Caruso, he's checked in for Williams. into a groove at the free throw line. It doesn't just last for tonight. This might be two weeks, two months, something like that. Oh, well, oh, a screen on White. Hurry against White. Green right there. He's not going to get away with that kind of lapse all that often here tonight. 
Russo who brings up the ball for the Chicago Bulls. Nine point game. himself going here his first points of the game on the deep ball Murray against Carter pass to Murray and here's Jokic six to shoot back to Murray takes the three and it's the Sumu with the rebound Chicago has got two of four threes to fall here in this third quarter down low Here's DeRozan. Oh, DeRozan the big time. You're one of the elite scorers in the league. DeRozan can beat you at all three levels. On the inside. It's Jokic. Time on the assist by Murray. Jokic has got 10 points now. Just in this quarter. Chicago's got 6 of 13 shots to go from outside the arc. Pass to Drummond. 23 seconds left in the third quarter. No one covers. Caruso's got seven points in the game. And so here is Denver. 13 points was their biggest lead of the game. Murray against Carter. To the middle. Jokic muscles it down. And that's out of bounds. Chicago will retain possession. Oh, they're lucky that pass was just tipped and not taken. Could have been worse. Carter from outside. Oh, got it off his 
It's been all about Nikola Jokic for the Nuggets. He had solid production this quarter with scoring and rebounding. We'll be right back. Head coach Billy Donovan is mic'd up along the sidelines. Let's check it out. Hold your ground. Don't let him back your way in. Just hold your ground. The other thing, too, is once he picks the ball up, he's not going to shoot it. If he does, just stay down on him. And close down on the revenge the scout report to his guy. New York Kings plays as a kid on the money right there. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with Christian Brown out there with Reggie Jackson. Then it's Zeke Nagy. Then there's Nikola Jokic. And it's Strother in at the three. That's the group on the floor for Denver. Not great numbers, but great effort in this one. Sounds funny, but I think he's been a positive for them. And the basket is good. When you use it right, the pump fakes as effective a move as there is. Jackson against Carter. Jokic passes to Jackson. Naji sets a screen. The 11-footer. Basket's good. Man, that's now 10 straight points in the paint. I'm not sure what's happened to their defense. Outside Craig. Outside for Levine. Levine draws the double. The lob. Very well done. Assistant Drummond's chipping in right now, this way, offensively, adding points. That helps out this offense. To the paint. Here's Jokic. Yes! Nice assist from Jackson. Jokic has got 25 points. And talk about imposing your will. That's 10 straight points in the paint. Outside the beam. checked in. White, he's checked in for Chicago. And so Carter nails them both. And so Jackson Jr. will bring it up for the Nuggets. Jokic gives you such a great foundation out there. He stays so level-headed, 
Florida's team to use the clock. He said the clock is our friend. No need to rush things unless they give us a free one. Let's squeeze them out of this game. Back to you, Brian. And Allie, thank you for that. The Nuggets have gone six for nine here in the fourth quarter. Passes to Jokic. Here's Holiday. Here's Brown. Here's Jokic. Oh, 
Vucevic. Gordon pass to Jokic. And Jokic needed it.
So it's the Bulls taking the W in a close one. And this was an emotional win for them, no doubt about it. And just a fantastic accomplishment. You love how they just diffuse the energy in this arena. All right, let's send it down to Allie LaForce, who's with our player of the game. Thanks a lot. All right, Zach, a great win against a tough opponent. What enabled you guys to come out on top? Now, they're a big-time team in the West. Uh, we got to just play consistently, and we're as good as any team out there. We're going to continue to push, and, uh, you know, I think we can play with anybody. All right, thanks, Zach. Love the confidence. Thanks, Allie. Great interview once again. But, well, folks, that's going to do it for now. Alongside Brett Berry, Grant Hill, and Ali LaForce, this is Brian Anderson with our entire 2K crew thanking you for watching. Now it's time for the New Balance Player of the Game, Zach Levine.